I'd like to dedicate this to all of the Creator's righteous children. I have some food in my bag for you. Not that edible food, the food you eat. No, I have some food for thought. Since knowledge is infinite, it has infinitely fell on me. So, uh... Peace, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel again. Well... I'm outside sitting on my sister's porch because I am doggy sitting my sister's Italian Mastiff and her kids. Uh, and so if I can't, if I'm squinting and I can't really see what, like I can't really see because it's really sunny. And if you hear barking, I'm sorry. And if this is like too low and you can't really even hear it, I'm sorry. But I just wanted to do a counter uh, or second video to the video I did yesterday about the Charleston rallies, riots uh whatever you want to call them hate 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 basically basically and i just wanted to give updates on um other things that went on and how i'm feeling today so after yesterday after i put that video out i actually got a comment on my video and i'm a fairly new youtube channel so i don't get comments often but when i do they're oftentimes pretty uh pretty civilized pretty nice pretty average and yesterday I got this really rude and really weird comment from this person and basically they said because yesterday in the video if you've watched it which if you haven't please go watch it but yesterday in the video I talked about the person who ran into the anti-protest or the anti uh, white supremacist protest that was going on and the cop and the person just went into the crowd of people then backed up and went into them again killing three people and I talked about that I talked about that uh, in the video yesterday and so this person they comment on my video basically saying that they were sad for the bumper of the car the bumper of the car and that basically what I'm talking about is what is is liberal news media or whatever the heck he said they said I don't even know if it was a girl or a guy or whoever it was but the fact that they said that they were um, upset about the bumper of a car and how that turned out I just I just I, I can't I just can't and it's crap like that and it's not even that I'm mad about it because it's typical it's typical it's so typical and so it's not like I'm mad about what he said they said whoever they are it's just that it's annoying it's annoying that there is so much ignorance in this country and in this world and it's just sad that yesterday even had to happen in the first place but it is a real serious wake up call for a lot of people because a lot of people are asleep. And I really hope yesterday was a freaking wake up call because it is happening and it is going on today, tomorrow, and probably forever. We need to stand together, honestly, as light beings, we need to stand together. As indigos, as star seeds, we need to stand together. It is not gonna get any better if we do not stand together. And we also need to create infrastructure for ourselves meaning we need to start farming we need to start gardening we need to start making and producing our own food and growing it we need to learn herbal medicine we need to be able to know how to go out into nature and go and identify plants and know which ones are going to heal us which ones we can eat for food which ones are going to be good for bumps and bruises and rashes and things we need to know this information because it's getting down to the wire and it's coming and it's here and it's crazy and we need to know these things because if we don't know these things we're going to be relying on that capitalistic commercial system for the rest of our lives and we are not going to benefit from that and we're going to be at the end of the totem pole because we didn't learn this information there are people out there that are learning this information right now you know and we need to know it people of color indigenous people we need to know these things okay lgbtqia plus we are the most affected people by things going on like yesterday and we need to know about this we need to know this information we need to know this information and we need to know how to combat this information okay we do you know 
We need to create our own towns if we don't want to live out in the wilderness. We need to create our own towns and our own infrastructure with our own banks and our own everything, okay? And we need to start supporting each other. Number one thing, we need to start supporting each other, okay? Because we need to get off this grid. We need to get off the matrix, we need to get off this grid, and we need to do it now. Because it's not gonna be, oh, well, we'll do it tomorrow, or the next time this happens, or the next time this happens, or the next time this happens. Tell that to tens of thousands of slaves. Tell that to tens of thousands of Native Americans. You tell that to them. You tell them that tomorrow is another day that you can do this, because it's not. We need to wake up and we need to take ourselves mentally, physically, spiritually out of this. And we need to put ourselves in a position where we can thrive as people. And when it comes down to it, like things like yesterday, we do not need to go. Yes, I, I, I'm fully aware of peaceful protests and I am 100% down for it. But at the same exact time, if, if um, we are not armed in some way, shape or form, and as much as I love a peaceful protest, that is all I stand by. I still believe that we need to be able to arm ourselves in any way possible because this is not our grandparents, our great grandparents, their grandparents, their grandparents, their grandparents, and the list goes on. We are in a new day. It is the 21st century, it is 2017. We need to get it together as people. And that is why we need to stop the bickering. We need to stop blood quantum crap we need to stop all of these different things that are separating us as people and we need to freaking come together and we need to freaking become a unity because that's why we are so defeated all the time we are not a unity and we've become more we are better together than we are apart and I'm not saying that everybody is one of us because all kinfolk is definitely not skin folk remember that but at the same exact time we need to come together as people, and I'm not talking about just race. I'm not talking about just culture. I'm talking about like-minded people need to come together to fight this, okay? We saw it at Standing Rock, it worked, and we need to do it here. We need to do it in all facets of life. And we also need to remember that this is really petty. This is really, really stupid and petty. And we don't even need to be fighting these types of things because at the end of the day, we are indigos, we are star seeds. We are just spirits in a physical body riding out this wave on Mother Earth. And there are so many different things, other things that are more important going on in Mother Earth, like climate change and just so many different other things that are going on with the climate and Mother Earth, that all of this is just petty in the first place. Because, like I've said, and will continue to say, if we don't fight for our climate, we don't fight for Mother Earth, we won't have an Earth to even live on to fight these other battles. And they're just chicken butt. You know, it's stupid. It's so stupid. It's not even worth it. It's not even freaking worth it. And I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'm annoyed. I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'm not in shock I'm just annoyed I'm just annoyed that these things keep happening and I'm annoyed that there are so many people who are still so freaking naive and ignorant it is just so sad and I'm not even talking about just one side I'm talking about everybody there are still people in, on so many levels that are so ignorant on so many different things that they are not willing to wake up out of the matrix and really start improving their lives so that we can get out of this mess because it's not fair and it's stupid and it's a waste of time and I shouldn't even be making this video because this stuff shouldn't even be happening anymore we should have this should have gotten rid, rid of all this crap long ago long ago and if we just came together we could do that but I don't think anybody's ready and it's sad it's really sad to think that y'all are just not ready for the wake-up call but you know who is this girl right here I am so ready for the wake-up call I am so ready to get out of this mess it isn't worth it and it isn't it isn't a good representation of who we are as humans you know and you know I, I, I just don't even know what to say anymore like it's it's just a waste of worthless crap it's just you're wasting your time and it's just sad 
It's just sad that there are people out here who just honestly feel this way. And it's just so sad that we just have to still deal with this day after day after day. As a Virginia resident, I am so ashamed of Virginia. I am so ashamed of this country and I am so ashamed of just where we've come. I'm not surprised. I'm African American, Native American, a woman. I'm not surprised by any of it, but it still sucks. And it's just sad that we cannot wake up from the matrix because at the end of the day, capitalism and this government is just shitting on all of us. And so it doesn't even matter, okay? It doesn't even matter, okay? You're just fighting each other is a distraction from something bigger that's gonna go happen soon. I can feel it. And you guys are just being stupid and petty and dumb and, and irrelevant and stupid. And I don't even know what to say. I'm just, now I'm rambling, but I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that these things happen. I'm annoyed that I got that comment yesterday. I'm annoyed that there are ignorant people out there like that person that left that comment. I'm annoyed and, ig and, and it, it irritates me. I just really wanted to give my two cents again on all of this crap. This will be my last video. But please, please, wake up. Get off the grid. Get out of the matrix. You can do it. I know it farm, garden, build your own towns, support your own people, S get off the grid, <laughs> unplug, please, wake up. It's not just a cool hashtag. Seriously, be woke, because we need you right now. Seriously. Okay, well... That's just my two cents, so until next time, indigos and starseeds, unite and please be safe. There is a war going on for your mind. Media mavens mount surgical strikes from Trapper Keeper collages and online magazine racks. Cover girl cutouts throw up pop-up ads infecting victims with silicone shrapnel. Worldwide passenger pigeons deployed paratroopers.